Hey everyone, my name is Sean Arnold and welcome to my deck list for my Red Eyes Black Dragon deck. This was the deck I used in a, uh, my Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Online Rant series, episode 108. It is a deck which I've been trying out for a long time and done a lot of testing with and I'm really really proud of this build and where it's gotten to. It feels very very consistent, I get quite a few wins with it now and even though it's still prone to bricking, I feel like the ratios that I've got it to kind of make this work out really really well and it just seems very very fluid. Now, um, let's get into the monsters and talk about what we have available. There are a lot of little combos in this deck, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to detail what the cards are, and then I'm going to talk about combos at the end of this video, and hopefully that will help people that, um, who are picking up this deck maybe for the first time use it quite efficiently. So, onto the monsters. First of all, we have uh, seven level one monsters. We have three copies of Black Metal Dragon, two copies of King Cabillo, and two copies of the Black Stone of Legend. Black Metal Dragon is the searcher for the deck, it also gives your cards an attack boost. What you can do with this card is you can equip it from your hand or field to a Red Eyes monster and then you give that card 600 attack. But the main reason why you do this is because when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add any Red Eyes card from your deck to your hand. Um, it's really nice um, because it gives your Retro Dragon brings it up to 2400 attack and it also brings your Red Eyes Black Dragon up to 3000 attack and it brings Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon up to 3400 which can be really helpful sometimes. But the searcher effect is even better, you can add any of the Red Eyes monsters from your deck to your hand, you can add Red Eyes Fusion from your deck to your hand, Red Eyes Spirit or Return of the Red Eyes, all really really good powerful spells and traps. Unfortunately you can't bring back red stone because it's not called a red eyes card but if it was that would be even more more crazy. <clears throat> King Cabillo is an amazing card in this deck. It is not a dragon type, it is not a red eyes monster but it works so well with the level 1s in this deck. It is a spirit monster which when normal summoned can add one, um, special summon one level 1 monster from your graveyard to the field. Now this gives you a variety of options to do. You can use it with Black Metal Dragon to trigger Black Metal Dragon's effect again, or you can use it with the Blackstone of Legend and trigger that effect, which we'll talk about in a moment. King Kibio is also a beast type monster, and what's really nice is that with, say, like Black Metal Dragon, you can use this card to do a contact fusion into Beast Eyes Pendulum Dragon, which makes this card basically have the option of turning into a 3000 meat stick. Plus, if you then revive, say, Black Metal Dragon with King Kibio's effect and then go into a contact fusion, then um, you also trigger Black Metal Dragon's effect, so you'll get a plus one, plus a 3000 attack monster on the field, and it's just a really, really nice combo. Um, next we have the Blackstone of Legend. The Blackstone of Legend is a level one dragon type monster for this deck. You can tribute this card and special summon one level seven or lower red eyes monster from your deck only. So you can bring out any of these cards quite early and bring them to the field, which is really what you want to do. What also makes this deck, um, this card really good is that it can, it can recover itself from your graveyard to your hand quite easily. All you need to do is shuffle one Red Eyes monster from your graveyard back into your deck and then you can add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Making it a really really good recursion effect or something you can bring back and then discard again for effects like 1 for 1 or Twin Twister. What's even better is if you can get this card to the field without normal summoning in this turn, um, you say like through one for one, you can use its effect to bring it out Red Eyes Black Fear Dragon and then use its effect to Gemini Summon this card and then get this effect through that way too. So it's a really, really good clever card here. Now onto our hand slash graveyard traps. Keeper of the Shrine is a graveyard or hand trap. Um, it has a couple of effects. It can be used as two tributes for a dragon type monster. So if you have this on the field and you have a Red Eyes Dead in your hand, you should be able to normal summon it through this effect. Also, while this card is in your hand or graveyard, if a face-up type dragon monster on the field is sent to the graveyard by a card effect or by battle, you can special summon this card. Then if that monster sent to the graveyard is a normal monster, you can add a dragon type normal monster from your graveyard to your hand. It's, you can only use this effect of keeping the shrine once per turn. It's a really, really great card to have in your graveyard. You want to send it to the graveyard as soon as possible with, say, Dragon Shrine, either by sending Red Eyes Black Dragon and then uh, keep of the Shrine a ASAP. But um, no, it's a really, really great effect. And the fact that you run several normal monsters and your Gemini monster will still work with this card, you can then add another normal monster from your deck to your hand quite quickly, giving you more pluses. So it's a really great card to have around and you want this card in your graveyard ASAP. So yeah, this is one of your first targets. Red Eyes Retro Dragon is the hand trap for this deck. 
Um, it has a good uh, level 4 set, so you can use it on the field. So don't feel like you can't normal summon this card, but uh, normally use this for its hand trap. If a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster you control, except Red Eyes Black Chick is destroyed by your opponent's attack or card effect and sent to your graveyard while this card is in your hand, you can special summon this card to the field in defense position. If you do, you can special summon as many of those destroyed monsters as possible in the same position they were when they were destroyed. This makes attacking with your Red Eyes a little bit more safer. So if you have a Red Eyes Black Dragon in the field or Red Eyes Black Flare and you attack and say your opponent responds with a Mirror Force or something to destroy it, from the field or maybe even destroys it for battle you can then special summon retro and bring it back to the field straight away it's really really nice it's a really really good way of protecting your cards and i always like to have one of them around in case my opponent wants to say right get keep my field um it does also have the effect where you contribute this card and you can normal summon one red eyes black monster during your main phase this turn i don't really use that um it's not something you're ever going to really use so don't worry about that effect Onto the big monsters now, we have Summon Skull, who I'll talk about later, 3 copies of Red Eyes Black Dragon, 2 copies of Red Eyes Black Fear. Uh, Red Eyes Black Flare is a nice Gemini monster. Its effect is um, that uh, when it's been Gemini summoned, if damage calculation is performed involving this card, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to this card's original attack. So you can do 2400 damage to your opponent. It's a really, really nice effect. It really helps and adds up. It's almost like you've attacked twice with this card. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, I think needs no introduction, it's an amazing card. It special summons your dragons from your graveyard hand, and uh, you can special summon this from the graveyard and through effects like Red Eyes Spirit, so it's a really, really great card in this deck. Now, onto the spells, uh, we have two copies of Allure of Darkness. Draw power is very, very important in this deck, so uh, two copies of Allure of Darkness. You don't really want to banish your cards, but you need the draw power. Three copies of cards of the Red Stone. This is a little bit specific, but still works well. You send one level 7 Red Eyes monster from your hand to your graveyard. So it only works with these five monsters here. But I run so many copies because you don't really ever want a Red Eyes in your hand and not to have one of these. Uh, you then get to draw two cards. And if you want to, you can send one level 7 Red Eyes monster from your deck to the graveyard. I don't often mill through this effect or do the last effect because... Um, you do want some copies of Red Eyes still in your deck and you don't want to make cards like the Black Soul of Legend um, dead too early. But um, yeah, if you want to get your uh, graveyard filled up quite quickly, um, cards of the Red Soul can be great for that. Dragon Shrine at 3, you definitely need this early on in the game to mill. Your ID, you want to mill either a, you want to deal, um, sorry, mill a Black Flare Dragon and then say Keeper of the Shrine. Once you've done that, mill another one and then do Black Soul of Legend so you can recycle it and add it to your hand. Whatever you need at the time, this is a really versatile card for the deck. One for one, your main target for this is to go into Blackstone of Legend. But if you don't uh, want to do that, you can always go into Black Metal Dragon. Ideally, this is just to also get cards that are dead in your hand, um, out of your hand into the graveyard where they're more useful. Rageki, Red Eyes Fusion. Red Eyes Fusion is used to bring out Archfiend Black Skull Dragon, who requires one level 6 Archfiend Normal Monster and one Red Eyes Normal Monster. So you, the only cards you can use for this are these four cards here. Unfortunately, this is not a normal monster when it's in your deck. Now, uh, Archfiend Black Skull Dragon we'll talk about more later. Just be aware though, if you are going to play Red Eyes Fusion, it does mean that you cannot normal or special summon other monsters this turn. It, you can only activate this card once per turn. So if you're going to play this card, you really want to play in a situation where you aren't going to summon anything else. It's going to be on its own, so be aware of that. Free Return of the Dragon Lords because it's amazing, um, just a really, really great card. Two copies of Twin Twisters to clear back row and ditch monsters from your hand to the graveyard. Uh, one copy of Red Eye Spirit. This copy is this card is a monster reborn for Red Eyes monsters. Um, Return of the Red Eyes a little bit complicated, but it's a really good card. If you control a Red Eyes monster, you can target one normal monster in your graveyard and special summon it, including Summon Skull. Uh, if this card is in your opponent in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can target a Red Eyes monster in your graveyard and special summon it. You can only use each effect once per turn. So a good re recursion effect. It constantly special summons monsters. It's a nice card here. And last of all, just to protect your cards and help you set up plays, we have the Solemn Brigade and one Vanity's Emptiness. Onto the extra deck here, we have a variety of different cards. Um, I will try and explain them in some kind of order here. So let's start off with uh, Beast Ice Pendulum Dragon. Beast Ice Pendulum Dragon takes one Dragon type and one Beast type. 
Um, it's what we talked about with King Cabillo earlier. Um, it's only effect that you can really use is um, if this card destroys a monster by a battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the beast type fusion material used for this card summon. So if you see the gameplay footage that I play, you see whenever I attack with this card, it does 400 damage. That is because it is dealing damage equal to King Cabillo's effect uh, attack stat. Um, it helps a little bit, but it's not really the main reason you use this. You use this because it has 3000 attack and it's so easy to summon in this deck. Archery's Black Skull Dragon, a really, really cool card, is not necessarily a game winner, but is a game changer. Um, you can only special summon this through uh, once per turn. If this card battles, your opponent cannot activate effects until the end of the damage step. Really, really great card for that one. So if you don't have your Twin Twist already and you're just ready to attack your opponent, this is a huge monster which should be able to attack without any repercussions happening. Um, if this card battles, your opponent cannot, uh, well, I said that already. If damage calculation is performed involving this fusion summon card, at the end of the battle phase, you can target one red eyes normal monster in your graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack, then shuffle it into the deck. So it's very similar to Black Flare Dragon, where it could do 2,400 damage from a monster that's shuffled back into your deck, but then um, it requires you to have one in the graveyard to do so. So it's a nice burn effect for such a strong effect, and it can't, it won't ever be destroyed by cards like Mirror Force or so on and so forth. So it's a really, really cool monster to, to use. Just be aware that um, Red Eyes Fusion does limit you to only summoning uh, no special summons and no normal summons for that turn. For your level 1s, just in case you need it, we've got one rank up mon a level 1 rank monster, Slacker Magician. Silver and Princess would be better, but I don't have it. Um, we've got for level 7s, your level 7 box is not necessarily good as a level 8 box, but there are a few okay options. We've got Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, who has a piercing damage. We've got two copies of Draco Sack, which destroys monsters on the field and also protects itself quite nicely. We've got Big Eye, which has a change of heart effect that takes your opponent's monsters. Uh, Master of Blades, I never use, but it has an effect to um, make itself um, not targeted by effects and negate the activation. It's whatever, really. One Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. This is a little bit of a complicated card, but it has a nice effect. It has the same effect as number 39 Utopia in that it can negate attacks. Um, you can then special summon a Odd Eyes monster from your hand or graveyard if you already have one, but it's less likely that you would. And then if this XE summon card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your extra deck, except Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. The two targets for that I've got are Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon and Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. Vortex Dragon is pretty nice. Um, when you special summon this card, you, you can target one face up attack position monster your opponent controls and return it to their hand. So that's really nice. Uh, Meteor Burst is a little bit different. Um, this effect, uh, the only effect that you can really care about with this is your opponent cannot, monsters in your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects during the battle phase. This card is a better target, so if they destroy your Vortex Dragons, uh, your Absolute Dragon, you can special summon this one and bounce a card back, but it's really just there, yeah, um, as what well it is, so you've got options. Last of all, the last card we're going to look at is Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. This is a really, really good XZ card. Um, it cannot be destroyed by card effects while it has XE material. Uh, while this card has XE material, each time your opponent activates a card or effect, you burn your opponent for 500 damage. And if you see the gameplay that I have of um, me using this deck, you see it actually really adds up and works quite well. And then once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one XE material from this card and special summon one Red Eyes Normal Monster from your graveyard. Fantastic card, really, really good card, game changer, and... Um, it allows you to bring out more XC monsters quite quickly. So, sorry for the long video, there was a lot to explain there, but this is a really, really fun deck. I love this deck. Um, it's very fun to play, and I love beating Blue Eyes players with this deck because everyone wants some Blue Eyes White Dragon right now. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in to this video, and I'll see you soon. Take care.